Hi, I'm Terrapin, and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of Evil Hack. Uh, so I'm going to be playing on the Hard Fought server, and currently the version there is 0 0.8.1. So one of my favorite combinations is an Illithid, um, an Illithid priest, Priestess, whichever. Um, so the Illithid is a role that's not found in vanilla. Um, and it's sort of like a mind flare, um, the player version of it. Um, and I, I think of it as kind of like elfier than an elf. Um, so it's wisdom and intelligence caps are higher than an elf's. And currently my wisdom is totally maxed out at 22, which is nice. Um, meanwhile, strength and constitution are even worse than an elf's. Um, so they're also maxed out, but only at 10 and 12 respectively. So that's a concern um, for damage and health, but also just for carrying stuff around. I'm currently maxed out at 600 uh, uh, units of mass. So that's um, going to plague us all the way through the game until and unless we find gauntlets of power or something like that. Um, in terms of advantages, uh, as well as the intelligence and wisdom um, caps, you also have uh, psychic resistance, um, which prevents you from getting amnesia. Um, and you have intrinsic telepathy from the start. Um, and you'll get flying at level 12, but that's a long way away for us. Um, finally, there's a, um, if you look, so for the pre-start, I have healing in stone to flesh. One of those will be useful. Um, I suppose the second could be useful for meatballs. Um, but then I, you'll see that I also have a third spell that I didn't have a book for called Psionic Wave. So Psionic Wave is given to all Illithids, regardless of what their role is. Um, and it's a level one attack spell, and it mostly acts like a normal one. Um, it costs five power, and it uses nutrition. Um, it does about half the damage of a force bolt. Um, but it can also confuse enemies um, if you hit them. So, uh, and it's a beam attack that so and, and it never misses. So it's it's pretty versatile. Um, it works on almost everything that has a mind. Um, and so I I'd, I'd say it, it holds its own against Force Bolt, um, even in the early game due to the fact that it's so accurate. And then in the late game, when Force Bolt's totally useless, you can still sometimes use Psionic Blast. So that's nice. Psionic Wave, I think. I never get the name right. Um, anyway, um, and it's not quite like a normal spell in that you, Illithids will always successfully cast it, um, but it also won't have any effect if you're wearing a Metal Helm. So as a priest, it's nice to have an attack option from the beginning of the game, um, and uh, I also have healing, so, you know, I kind of got it all. That said, my melee is absolutely terrible, so not only are my strength and constitution bad, but um, edged weapons are even uh, worse for priests in Evil Hack than in Vanilla. Um, so, you get alignment penalties if you try to use them, um, and also a really large two-hit penalty, um, as well as, of course, being restricted in all of them. So I'm pretty much stuck with um, my mace, or when I get to the Gnomish Mines, I'll probably try to find an Aklis, um, which is uses the club sp skill, and it's doesn't do quite as much damage as a mace, but you can throw it, um, like, and it will uh, return to you. So it's very useful. Excuse me. It's very useful um, to avoid, you know, getting killed um, because you don't have to get into melee range. So it looks like we've got a vault on this level. Um, so one message that I'm keeping an eye out for. Um, one of those, you know, you hear uh, blank messages is I'm looking out for a bustling town or a um, the sound of a goblin warband. So uh, 
One of the, in general, Evil Hack is pretty conservative with adding new levels. Um, so, like, I, well, I don't really play, like, Slash or DNet Hack or anything like that. I know they, they add, like, whole new branches and stuff. Um, there are some new branches, technically, I suppose, in uh, Evil Hack, but they're all just, like, a couple levels. Um, and they don't, you reach them via stairs, not, or you don't, you don't reach them via stairs, you reach them via magical portals. Um, so the first of these is called Goblin Town, um, and it, you can, there's going to be a portal on the second or third floor that leads to it. And technically all the branches are optional, but Goblin Town is the least optional, I would say, of the new branches. And the reason for that is you can't, so the Gnomish Mines, um, you can go into them like normal, uh, but, and okay, I'm not going to explore them because they're dark, but if I were to explore them, um, I would find that after a couple floors, I won't be able to go downstairs anymore. Um, and that's because um, access to mine town is blocked until you get, until you kill um, a unique monster in Goblin Town called the Goblin King. And since mine town is such an important part for most character, uh, important, you know, stop for most characters, it's pretty much necessary to kill the king. Um, Illithids are a really good uh, race for that. There are some um, race role combos that we're all um, I'm, I'm really scared of the Goblin King with them, and I will uh, avoid engaging for a really long time. But Illithids have no problem because of the psionic wave attack. It will um, make... It, it, it will kill the king before he can reach you. Um, and so he does a lot of melee damage, but he doesn't have any other attacks. Um, you might have noticed when I was fighting that mummy, um, he, the, I don't know why, so uh, the mummy um, inflicted a status effect on me called Withering. And what Withering does is it inflicts, so, okay, we, so there's this thing, the uh, feature in Evil Hack called the Monster Lookup. Well, I don't know, it's not, that's not the official name, and you can also look up objects, so it's really just more of a normal lookup but I think of it as the monster lookup. If you press forward slash, um, you can use another forward slash to find something um, and select it with period, uh, like with, you know, you're far looking them, and then it'll ask for more, if you want to know more information. So if you say yes, it'll tell you some stats for the monster. So you can see it's slower than I am. Um, it has a 1d4 claw withering attack. Um, so what withering does is, um, for however many uh, however much like damage, so in this case for 1d4 turns I will be inflicted with the withering status and each turn I'm withering I'll likely take a point of damage um, and so in some ways it's less scary than uh, like a 1d4 claw attack would be more damaging but um, it can be difficult to judge how long you're going to be withering. And um, it can also drain max HP if you get like too much withering stacked up all at once. Um, but yeah, the main issue I have with it is that I just never know whether I'm going to die from it or not. And it's very difficult to cure. Prayer will cure it, but um, not much else. Unicorn horns won't help, for instance. Um, and you need some pretty strong... Whoa! I'm in a store now. You need some pretty strong healing potions to get rid of it as well. Um, so... One neat thing about uh, Evil Hack is uh, spellbooks have different weights depending on their level. And you also have an option to show weight um, in, of stuff that you're carrying. So, um, I mean, I could price ID, but 
I don't even have to do that. I can just look at the weight of the spell book and I know what level it is. Um, so I like to pick up things in shops, at least when I'm pretty sure that I have a pet around. Currently it's obviously not with me, but it's somewhere. Um, and... Okay, let's just take a second to think. So each 120 Zork mids per food ration. And their base price is 45. Uh, I hate math. Um, okay, calculator time. Uh, or no, wait, it's 60 over 45, sorry. I don't know why I, that was hard. Did I say 100? No, 120. Okay, so that's times a third times two. Um, man, I really, two times 2.67. And then this here is a level two spell book. So the times 2.67 must be the extra third. Does that? Oh man. Okay, calculator back. Uh, 356 over 200, which would be the brace base price. Yeah, I thought that's what it was. But then 360 over 3 over 45. Okay, well. Some of my calculations are wrong somewhere. Um, anyway, I was saying something about something. Um, so that one was just times a third. Hmm. Oh, it's because I'm hungry. That's why the food rations are more expensive. Um, right, I was saying, so I like to stack up stuff in this short shop, because that way, if and when I bring um, my pet in, it won't, like, waste his time fetching a gem or something that I don't really care about at stealing. And then I can bring everything that I want to steal over to the door. Um, so yeah, we've established that it's a 1.33 modifier. Um, so in vanilla, right, you've just got the charisma to worry about, um, and that's really the only uh, thing that affects um, what the price is. Um, and you still have that that still affects prices in Evil Hack, but also you have shopkeepers of different races. So, right, this guy's a giant. Um, and depending on what your race is and what race the shopkeeper is, that can also affect prices. So my habit is I don't... I, it's too much to memorize. Um, so I just go into a shop, find something that I know the base price of, and then use that to um, calculate what the modifier must be. Um, and it also means I don't have to stop to find the to bring up the wiki, which is convenient. Um, yeah. So leather armor, I could use it for sure. I mean, it's nice for a spell caster, um, and you know, it's a couple of AC, which isn't nothing. But um, it's also like an eighth of my inventory. So I don't really know if it's worth it. Um, like, hopefully I won't be getting into melee range too much anyway. Um, just as a heads up, I'm going to say melee a lot. I'm, I looked it up once out of curiosity, and it's pretty much the only way to say it that's definitely incorrect, but I can't help myself. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I'd kind of rather just have the extra 75 uh, units of inventory space. So you can see we've actually found a magic lamp. Um, that was super unexpected. Um, you can also see, so this amulet, um, I've labeled it as sexy because I found it cursed. So if I find another amulet in the dungeon that is, you know, uncursed, uh, I might be a little more hesitant to try it on because it could be, you know, strangulation or something since I've already found a cursed version. Um, you also notice that it's a gold amulet. Um, that's because uh, there are different object materials in Evil Hack. So, um, so things uh, have a certain base 
uh, a base material. So like most armor is made of iron, stuff like that. But they can also be generated as other things too, depending on what their base material is. So amulet's base material is steel, also known as metal, which is different from iron. Um, it's slightly lighter than iron and it's rust proof. Um, and you know, it doesn't make a scritch scritch sound, which is not a particularly big difference, but it's there um, if you rub it on the touchstone. Uh, so their base price is steel, or base version of, their base material is steel, um, but they can also be made of um, silver, gold, um, mithril, and maybe platinum, shiny metals. Um, it looks, eh, I'm going to stuff out a few more turns to see if I can find some food, but I really don't want to faint. Especially because I've just found a, ma a magic lamp. Um, so, uh, yeah, so gold is generally not a good object material to have. Um, it's heavier than most other things. Oh, and I just did faint. I'm definitely praying now. It's heavier than most other materials, and also leprechauns can steal it. Um, so they, they won't only steal money, they'll also steal gold items. Um, so if, yeah, like if your mag amulet of magic resistance that you're relying on for MR is made of gold and a leprechaun steals it or something else that can steal gold steals it, then you're kind of out of luck. Um, okay. I believe my pet is somewhere around here. I def I need it, you know, to... um. Make that to get that magic lamp. Um, because I'm a priest, I have holy water, so I can bless it um, immediately. But I really don't want to have to steal it, because um, I probably have to spend the wish on something that could help me escape, and that would be much less useful. I might have left it behind upstairs. Aha! There's my cat. Okay. Um, side note, um, this happened a while back and I totally forgot that it happened, but, uh, this dungeon level three, I remember seeing, um, the message about the portal here. So that's also around somewhere. Um, so I'm just going to note that real quickly. GT for Goblin Town, which is what the branch is called. Um, presumably I'll be coming back soon enough that I don't need to remember that, but, uh, I feel feel silly if I forgot about it later. Um, so I'm not going to ever use this dagger. As I said, uh, priests can't use edged weapons, or effectively can't. Um, but since I don't have a key yet, I can use it to force a chest if need be. You'll notice that I'm avoiding fighting that zombie, um, and I have a very good reason for that. And that is because um, zombies are really scary in Evil Hack. So, oops. As another note, you also note that um, the the modifier price modifier is different here. It's times one point five, um, and that's not because of a particular interaction between our races. In this case, the shopkeeper's gnomish race and my gnomish race and my elfid. Um, well, it, I mean, it's a result of an interaction, but it's not. There's not a special illithid gnome interaction or anything. It's because gnomish shopkeepers will always charge based on your intelligence instead of your charisma. So my intelligence intelligence isn't that great. So I'm getting a bit of a higher um, markup. But um, back to. Zombies, um, we can look one up. Um, they, of course, come in all kinds of uh, races, but uh, the one out there was a uh, hobbit zombie, I think. So if we forward slash and then use the question mark, we can search for a specific monster or item um, by name. So hobbit zombie. Um, so 
Mm, like in vanilla, it's a very slow monster and not, you know, it doesn't have many defenses. However, its attacks are quite different. It can, it has a constitution poison claw, um, which can instant kill you just like any other poison. And even worse, it has this eating brain eating bite. So as an illithid, I'm immune to the amnesia that this, this can cause, but zombies will also cause sickness with this bite. Um, and well, technically it will make you turn into a zombie over time, but mechanically it's the same as if you're sick. Um, so currently I have no way of healing sickness other than prayer and I've already prayed for nutrition. So getting sick would pretty much be a death sentence. Uh, I mean, yeah, it would be a death sentence. Um, so I'm very wary at the moment of zombies. Furthermore, um, this isn't immediately relevant, but if and when I do kill a zombie, um, it will revive as long as it leaves, or usually as long as it leaves a corpse. Um, that is to say, it will revive most of the time it leaves a corpse, uh, just like a troll. Um, but you can't eat zombie corpses because they're um, they're old since they're undead. So um, there, there there are other ways to dispose of the corpse, but none of them are terribly convenient and. I don't have any access to any of them. Um, I probably should not have stayed to price ID these things, but I couldn't help myself. Uh, so, okay, let's, so this was probably an orc zombie um, because it just says orc corpse instead of, you know, hill orc corpse or uh, something like that. That's how you can, oh, and I'm sick, shit. Um, Well, hmm. let's see if we can kill it. Yeah, the magic lamp's too far away. I have like 10 turns left where I'm dead. Let's, okay, cross our fingers here. Oh, thank gosh. Oh my gosh, that was really scary. That was a pretty short prayer time out. Um, I'm, I'm pretty surprised that I would. Oh, and, and now we got more zombies. Oh, this is just great. Um, I'm really glad that worked. Um, I can rely on my kitten to kill it, I suppose. Uh, okay. Um, the problem is that kittens can also. Oh, sh oh yikes. Um, the problem. Yeah, so kittens can also get sick and will die from their illness. Um, hmm. So now I can't steal the magic lamp anymore. Uh, I might just pawn off scrolls and spell books. I think I think I'm gonna have to do that because um, I I'm not leaving that magic lamp behind. Um, okay, we're gonna go very slowly. Because as if everything else wasn't enough, zombies are of course undead and not visible through infravision. So I'm going to have to fight some zombie or another, I'm pretty sure. Um, because, you know, there's one along this corridor and there's a couple along this corridor and they'll keep reviving. So I'm just going to be really careful. They have speed three, so in theory they should get one turn for every four of mine. But of course, free, uh, random energy can change that a bit. Um, but yeah, luckily I was able to kill it. Okay, I need um, about 630 credit here. So my spell books I definitely don't need for now. Um, there are 600, okay, so 400 gold left. Let's see. Um, did I put on this amulet yet? I did. Okay. I mean, it could very well be like MR or something. Um, but a magic lamp is more important. I'm gonna go with... Let's drop some of these scrolls. Okay, yeah, 300 gold scrolls are not useful in the early game. Um, oh, yeah, I'll explain that in a sec. This could be enchant armor, or remove curse. I might keep that for now. 200 gold scroll. 
I mean, it could be earth, but I'll get some from Sokoban. Taming would be nice, but not necessary. I'm going to sell that too. Okay. Um, so these, one of these is remove curse and one of these is enchant armor and either could be useful. Well, the cursed one isn't going to be useful, so I might sell that actually for now. Um, but yeah, so there, are, so just like in vanilla, you have genocide, um, genocide, stinking cloud, um, punishment, and charging for all have a base price of 300 and then there's also a fifth scroll in evil hack called magic detection um, which has that base price um, and in vanilla you certainly don't want punishment stinking cloud is only useful if you have something to actually poison in the moment um, oops I almost sold that scroll by accident uh, and charging you probably don't have anything useful to use it on yet um, so but genocide of course can be really helpful if you get an early genocide scroll you can you know wipe out all the liches or you can keep it in reserve and use it you know to kill off the dwarf queen that's one hit away from killing you or something like that um, in evil hack you you can still use and curse genocide as a sort of emergency nuke option but if it's um, but there's a lot of enemies that you can't use it to um, to wipe out. So liches, you can't genocide until you kill this unique monster that's found in uh, Gehenna. And uh, Blessed Genocide also just, uh, it doesn't wipe out a whole letter of monsters. Um, it just wipes out two monsters from the class. So, um, it's a lot less useful and it's much less helpful in the early game. Um, honestly, right now I would totally read it just to wipe out zombies, but I'd rather have the gold. I mean, that's it's pretty unlikely that it's genocide anyway. Okay, um, I've been trying to keep the amulet just in case it's useful, um, but I guess I'll, I'm going to try these potions. You'll see the zombie is attacking the shopkeeper. And that so there's a grudge patch um, implemented in Evil Hack. Um, and that means that some monsters will attack other monsters on site. So like orcs and elves will try to kill each other. Um, and that obviously can be useful because then you don't have to kill them. It can also be a bit of a pain because um, it can, you know, rile up monsters in a zoo or a throne room if some of them are elves and some of them are orcs. Um, and it makes it harder to stealthily um, approach. Um, in the case of zombies, zombies will attack anything living. Um, and so if you're... Uh, in a shop, that's helpful because shopkeepers are pretty, um, pretty good at fighting. Okay, I'm gonna pick something up so he doesn't move from the door. Oh, he's totally well moved from the door. Shoddy, shoddy security. Okay, now he won't move. Um, so the shopkeeper will probably be able to kill the zombie. Um, I think in theory the zombie could eat the shopkeeper's brains and kill it, but I've never seen it happen. Shopkeepers have pretty good AC usually. Um, anyway, one issue is that zombies, if they kill something, um, then if it's eligible to be a zombie, so if it's some kind of orc or elf or human or so so on, um, if it if it leaves a corpse, it will revive as a new zombie. So you can get you know a zombie plague on a floor. Okay, the shopkeeper just doesn't want to attack. Um, So it seems like I'm just going to have to wish. So let's bless this puppy. And 
to hope for the best. I'm going to be real mad if it turns out the genie doesn't grant me a wish, because um, I just sold a whole bunch of stuff for this thing. Um, before we do the wish, I want to discuss this before the prompt actually comes up, because I really don't want to like have some sort of network connection problem or something and lose the wish. Um, classic vanilla wish, right, is like Grey Dragon scale mail or something like that. This is not an option in Evil Hack anymore. They, because Dragon Scale Mail doesn't exist. Um, you can find Dragon Scales, um, and they will go in the cloak slot, and they will grant intrinsics similar to the ones in Vanilla. Um, and then you can also read Enchant Armor to make this cloak um, scales merge with whatever you're wearing as body armor, and that will make the body armor. Um, it gives it extra AC and makes the body armor give the intrinsics that the scales would, um, plus an extra intrinsic. Um, um, so like white dragon scales as a cloak will give cold resistance. And then if you put them on body armor, you get cold resistance from the body armor and then also the ability to freeze anything that you walk on. Um, and I believe you also can't stumble on ice. It would be weird if you could since you're freezing it. Anyway, um... So, I mean, I could wish for Grey Dragon Scales, but it would only grant me a few AC, and uh, it, it would take up the um, slot that my robe is in right now, so I don't want to do that. Um, I th think instead, since I'm an Elithid, and I will probably want these anyway at some point, I'm going to wish for some Gauntlets of Power. Um, there are a number of artifacts later in the game that can grant 25 strength, and I might end up having to switch for them. Uh, but that's a long ways off, and I, for so just for survival survivability, I'm going to go with Gauntlets of Power for now. Um, one handy dandy, assuming I get a wish, of course. Um, Thank goodness. Okay. So, uh, one handy dandy thing about the object material patch is that you can wish for objects of specific materials. Um, so, normal gauntlets of power would be made of metal and inhibit my spell casting. So, instead, I'm going to go for stone. So, these are good, way better than metal for a number of reasons. Um, they grant an extra point of AC. They uh, are erode-proof, which is why I'm not explicitly wishing for them fixed. Um, and they don't impede spellcasting. Forgot an of there. Um, I'm going to go with plus two... Hmm. I mean, in theory, the scroll I have could be enchant armor. So it, it actually might not be a big deal if I end up with plus zero. Okay, so plus three is... Um, wishing for stuff plus three gives you... On, if you you know average out over lots of wishes, you get a slightly better result than if you wish for plus two things. Um, but of course, it's more likely that you'll just end up with a plus. Oh, and I forgot the stone. Ooh, that was close. Um, it's slightly more likely that you will just end up with plus zero instead, which is kind of a bummer. Um, so not only will I not have to worry about inventory that much but I will also be able to actually hit things and hurt them. Um, and that's real important. Um, especially against stuff like zombies, which are mindless and can't be psionic waved. Okay, blessed, plus three stone, gauntlets of power. I don't need to grease them because that doesn't do anything. And it just feels weird to grease gloves. It feels like you should get slippery fingers. Anyway, um, and they are naturally fixed. So I'm good to go. Okay, and there's plus three, that's nice. Okay, it looks like our friend Aang Magsalik is, oh, wait, he just killed the, okay, I did not see that coming, or maybe the Iguana killed it, I don't know. Oh, I'm still wearing the lamp, wielding the lamp. 
Okay. Um, well, that zombie's dead, thank goodness. Actually. I'm going to just put him inside. I think... I'm sure I'll take some gold for it, why not? I think our buddy Amagsalik, um stays by the door. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. See what this potion does. Oh, that's super useful. It's been like a hundred turns since I've prayed. I'm just I gotta give it a shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um Okay. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna take a short um wiki check. I'm gonna take a short short wiki check. Um, just to see if there's ways to cure sickness that I've forgotten about. Like, maybe holy water can do it, but I'm chaotic, so I think that might, um, that might not be helpful. Yeah, chaotic, high chaotics can't use holy water. Oh, that really blows. And I could have, like, wished for the staff of a Asclepius instead, you know, and it would have been a decent wish and I would have not been able to get sick. Ah, uh, oh, that really stinks. Um, I'm going to try holy water just in case I'm misunderstanding how that works. I mean, I have literally nothing else to do. Um, my god is angry at me and... Yeah. Okay, I, I, I'm going to try to run back to the shop and just see if I can quaff. Okay. This could be full healing. There's a very small chance that it could be full healing. And then I'll be okay because it's uncursed, so that'll cure it. And now I'm levitating. Okay, so I can't reach anything on the ground anymore. <laughs> um... Okay, okay. This could be life-saving. We still have a chance, guys. Um, wow. Okay. <gasps> Holy crap! Oh my god, I cannot believe that worked. Of course, now I am 200 Zorkmids in debt, but um, but I'll take it. Oh my god. This is, hands down, the luckiest game I've ever played. Um, you'll notice my constitution has gone down a point to 11. Um, so, in vanilla 3.6 and stuff, um, life-saving is, is, is a really nice amulet, right? Because, you know, you can have 1,000 health or something, and then when you die you get a uh, life saved and you're back at a thousand health and it doesn't matter what the BUC status is and all that. 3.7 nerfed life saving so that if you, um, so that it only heals a certain amount of HP based on your constitution. Um, and it, so it's like you can only get up to 170 HP and that's with 25 constitution, which is pretty unlikely. Um, Evil Hack has also nerfed life saving, but in a different way. Um, so, uh, it always will restore up to 150 HP, or of course, all of your HP, whichever is lower. And, um, but so 150 HP is like on the high end of what 3.7 life saving will give you. However, um, if the amulet is cursed in Evil Hack, it won't work at all. Um, and it will also drain a point of constitution, which sometimes matters. Um, I mean, I feel like it would matter more if you're like serially burning through 
life saving, but if you're at that point in the game, you probably can also restore ability. So, yeah, I don't know if the Constitution thing really matters, but that you really you really feel the cursed life saving not working. Um, that's something you're really concerned about. Anyway, I'm, I'm finally back on the ground, and I owe a lot of money. <laughs> So I'm just going to drop this gold real quick. Oh, the credit does not... It feels odd that the credit and the debt are counted separately. Um, well, I don't really need my holy water for now, so I can get solos for a cool hundred. Um, I probably don't actually have enough to sell everything. <laughs> but there's a mithril broad pick, okay. So I'm gonna just have to get I'm gonna have to dig through the floor, I think. Or can I I don't even remember I've never really stealing shops is not something that I do. I'm an honest citizen, I swear. My dog, on the other hand, is an inveterate kleptomaniac, but um, but me, my hands are clean. I think that the shopkeeper will like try to come next to you and grab you to stop you from going in. Um, I don't think I can get out of the shop any other way without angering them, though. Um, so yeah, I I I must admit, I am. Uh, checking out the wiki again because yeah I just don't know how shopkeeping works um, seems like 3.7 um, shopkeepers will remove pits that's interesting I don't know if so evil hack incorporates a lot of 3.7 changes to kind of stay current but not all of them so like the life-saving one I imagine evil hack made the life-saving nerf before vanilla and so it just kept its own version um and so yeah i don't know it might be that evil hack has not implemented the shopkeeper changes uh stealing how does one steal i like to imagine that i've just pulled out my phone in the nethack shop and i've just googled how to steal um, Okay, so they can only take your stuff if you're adjacent. Huh, so I just don't have to dig a hole. I have to dig a hole that's not adjacent. That seems way too easy. Um, well, I mean, either way, regardless of whether he takes all my stuff or not, I, I have no other choice but to dig through the floor. Um, and while I'm at it, I might as well just steal as much as I can. <laughs> I mean... Well, actually, how much? Yeah, because I'm going to have to bring the, the pick with me, the Mithril Broad pick, and that's already thousands of gold. Um, so I'm not going to be paying it off anytime soon. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't really need the Cursed Amulet. I can, I can wear the, the leather armor now, I guess. I might as well bring that. I still need food. Um, oh, I never actually said what level this was. There's two. Two light green. Okay. So, even though you can identify spell books by weight, um, weight is not displayed if it's on the floor, and it's not displayed if it's in a bag. Um, the floor thing makes sense, the bag thing kind of doesn't, but it still happens. Um, so, I mean, I guess to, if it's in a bag of holding them, the weight could be changed, and maybe that's why it's not shown. Um, but, so that's why I like to name spellbooks when I find them, so that if I see them later, I'll know what, what they are without having to pick them up or put them in open inventory. Um, okay, so... I want to keep all the stuff that I do have, except maybe they start. I don't want that. Um, I 
Might as well bring some tripe to make a new domestic friend. Um, make some new holy water. Can throw sleeping at a, somebody. This wand's probably not useful, but um, it's probably like opening or locking or something. I don't know off the top of my head what it could be. But most attack wands are, I think, 175. Um, Okay, and then in this pile, I'll take back my holy water. Thank you very much. I'll leave the spell books. I'm not going to need them for thousands of turns. Um, and yeah, sure, I'll take the scrolls. Why not? Um, you can see if I had, did, had not gotten my gauntlets of power, I'd already be five sixths of the way to burdened. But now I'm just halfway there, so that's nice. Um, oh, and the horn. I definitely want the horn. Um, because I can scare people. So that would abuse my wisdom, which I cannot exercise to get back. Um, and you also can't use the unicorns, unicorn horns to restore ability. Um, because, yeah, that, that's been removed, just like 3.7. Um, but uh, even though... Oh, and now the zombie's coming after me. Let's hope I can get through the floor before the zombie comes. Um, so, abusing my wisdom isn't great. Oh, okay. It did steal. Oh shit, does that- oh. Pff, I didn't know this shopkeeper would follow me. Oh, that was brutal. I'm pretty sure I couldn't have gotten out of the shop without stealing, though. Well, um, that was significantly more profanity than I normally have in a video. But what can I say? It was pretty emotionally fraught. Lots of ups and downs. Short game. Probably not exciting. Um, well, I mean, I'm sure it was exciting, but probably not, you know, terribly informative. Um, but, I mean, I can't not... I can't not put this video up, you know. That, that was a one in a million game right there. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for this game. I guess I might see you later. I'm gonna, probably going to try another Elithid Priest. Yeah, see you on the other side.